Hello, in the fourth lecture, we will be learning about uh, the commutation of SCR. Till now, we have learned how to turn the SCR on, that is through injecting current to the gate of the SCR, but we haven't yet learned how to turn it off. We will learn that in today's lecture. The process of turning the SCR on and off is called commutation technique. We have divided commuta commutation techniques into two parts. Firstly, natural commutation. It occurs naturally in case of AC, AC circuits. We know in case of ACs, the voltages are alternating and as a result, there is a zero point or zero crossing of the voltage. Beyond that zero crossing, the voltage is negative. Similarly, if we consider AC current, there will also be a zero point and beyond that zero point, the currents will also be negative. When the current is negative, it is below the holding current and we know when the current through an SCR is below holding current, the SCR switches off. So in case of AC circuit, the SCR automatically switches off and this process of uh, switching off SCR is called natural commutation. Forced commutation we used in case of DC circuits. We know in case of DC, there is no change in voltage over time. As a result, the voltage input voltage does not ever become zero as a result the current also does not ever become zero which poses a problem since the current does not decrease uh, uh, we cannot switch off the SCR in a normal way as a result we need an external circuitry to switch the SCR off so we'll learn about five types of uh, commutations one by one post commutations where we'll consider DC circuits and how to turn the SCR off in those circuits now uh, we are considering natural commutation for a resistive load so natural commutation uh, it will have a since it works for ac it will have an ac voltage source an scr switch and a load so we are considering this load is a resistance now we know how uh, how to turn the scr on we have to inject some current through the gate of it so suppose we are injecting some current here here and here just uh, I'm taking randomly three places in the three half cycles and I'm injecting current through it now what happens is before any current is injected this SCR is off off means it is open circuit as a result no current flows to through it so output voltage across the load V naught is equal to zero as a result before any gate pulse is given or current is injected through a gate the output voltage is zero when the current is injected through the gate, this thing becomes short circuit, that is the SCR turns on and as a result the voltage increases. Voltage increases and since this is 0 volts, by normal KVL we find V output will be equal to Vs in this case. So V output becomes equal to Vs and as long as the SCR is on, the voltage continues to follow, follow this shape, that is follows the output voltage continues to follow the input. Similarly, for the case of current, we can see, we will see the similar thing that the current will rise when the gate pulse is provided and then it will gradually decrease at the same at the same time. Now, now we can see that the current here becomes zero and when the current becomes zero through an SCR, we are considering that holding current is very small, almost equal to zero. So when current becomes zero, the current becomes actually less than holding current. As a result, the SCR turns off and this again becomes an open circuit. Since this becomes an open circuit, no current flows through the circuit. Since no current flows through the circuit, the output voltage is no longer mapped to the input voltage and the output voltage becomes zero again. So after this stage, the output voltage is zero and the current is also zero. Now we have again provided a gate pulse which is supposed to switch the SCR on but it does not. Why? Because that V naught here is zero. So here the voltage is zero and at this point since this is a negative cycle a voltage is negative. So the SCR is reverse bias. We know when the SCR is reverse bias no current flows through it. So irrespective of whether we provide gate voltage or not the current is zero so this is our current curve this is our v out curve this is our v input curve so current is also zero and as a result the voltage is also zero 
again we come to the positive half of the circuit you know a positive half cycle in the positive half cycle till the gate pulse is provided the scr is off so till the gate pulse is provided both current and voltage are zero and when the gate pulse is provided current the voltage follows the follows the the output voltage follows the input the current also rises and gradually falls as the voltage falls and they have the zero crossing at the same point and again the output voltage becomes zero current also becomes zero so we can see that we have uh, we did not have to apply any external circuitry it turned off naturally as soon as there was a zero crossing in the input so uh, the the turning off of scr did not depend on any external circuit so this is called that's why natural commutation now the load that we have used might not always be resistive it can be inductive as well and when the inductive load is in operation it brings some issues now let us suppose this is an inductor now inductor has some specific properties uh, this is one of the energy energy carrying elements inductor is one of the energy carrying element that is it consumes uh, it stores energy firstly inductor stores energy and next important thing is it does not allow the voltage to go to a uh, uh, current through it to change abruptly why does it happen we know di ldidt is the expression of voltage across an in inductor now if the current changes very abruptly this differential rises at a very high level if this differential rises at a very high level a very high voltage can be found across the load but this does not happen because the inductor does not allow the current to rise uh, very abruptly now uh, for discussion we are again considering three random places in three cycles where we are providing the gate pulse now uh, before the gate pulse is provided just like the natural uh, natural commutation in case of resistive load the output voltage is zero when the pulse is provided the output voltage rises to the input voltage and it follows the input voltage till the zero crossing it for fo it's following the input voltage till the zero crossing up to this point the voltage output this is voltage output curve and voltage input curve are same as that of resistive load but the current curve will have some differences what differences will it have will it have the current will be firstly zero when the gate pulse is provided in case of resistive load the current increased suddenly it had this kind of sudden increase but since we have a inductor here the current will not have this sudden increase the current will rise gradually so it will rise like this and when the voltage is falling and voltage is uh, falling and going into negative direction the current will fall but we'll see at the zero crossing of the voltage the current is actually not zero and we have said it over and over again SCR is a current control device and the way of uh, turning off SCR is that the current through it has to be lower than holding current but since the current is flowing through the circuit because of this inductor uh, the current is not lower than the holding current and the SCR does not turn off SCR does not turn off now the inductor is charged and it wants to get discharged it gets discharged in this direction and since it gets discharged, the gradually current begins to fall. Current falls till the time that SCR is completely discharged. It is to be noted that till the current falls to zero, the SCR is on. That is, this is short circuit. That is no, there is no voltage drop across the SCR. So the entire input goes into the output. That is, V output becomes V input till there is flow is current. So till this position of time. The output voltage and input voltage will be same till this position of time output voltage and input voltage are same and after the, we have reached this position since the current is zero the SCR has switched off and the output voltage will again be zero output voltage be zero now in the negative cycle if we get another gate pulse the SCR will not turn on and it will remain off and in the positive cycle till we get a dead gate pulse it remains on when it remains off when we get a pulse it remains on and it again follows 
the output voltage uh, input voltage the output again follows the input voltage similar case is the current till this point there is no current and then gradually rises and falls just like the previous one so output voltage is like this so in this case we can consider that in the positive half cycle the inductor gets charged and in the negative half negative half part of it the inductor gradually gets discharged as a result we can find a negative voltage component now if we connect in series a device here which cannot work with negative voltage then this device will uh, will stop functioning and dev this device may burn out because of the presence of the negative voltage here so when the load becomes inductive uh, uh, natural commutation commutation sometimes is problematic now our class A force commutation technique that is load or self commutation. In this case, uh, our input is a VDC as in case of forced, uh, forced commutation. Now since our input is VDC, the uh, current through the SCR naturally is not supposed to go to zero. That is SCR is supposed to keep on. But when we see that in load there are three, three, types, of, uh, three types of passive components, the inductor, capacitor, and the resistor so inductor and capacitors are basically energy storing elements what inductor is, does is it has a very special property property that it does not allow current to change abruptly and the capacitor has a special property that it does not allow voltage to change abruptly and when the capacitor is fully charged it it wants to become open circuited Another thing to be noted is both inductor and capacitor though can uh, have the capability of storing energy they do not like to remain in energetic state they want to dissipate the energy as soon as they can. Now what happens when we provide the gate, uh, gate current? If we provide the gate current this SCR turns on that is this becomes short circuited. Then in a, in a DC circuit when, whenever there is a capacitor it is uh, uh, the current is supposed to rush into the capacitor so current is supposed to a, a huge amount of current is supposed to flow but we have this inductor over here that does not allow this huge amount of current to flow because inductor does not allow the current to change abruptly so the current rises very slowly it charges up the in inductor and it charges up the capacitor with a positive at this end and negative at this end so gradually the current starts rising and when the capacitor is fully charged and the inductor is fully charged capacitor wants to turn into an open circuit it wants to open and it doesn't want current to flow flow anymore but if it is open circuit the current will suddenly become zero but the inductor does not allow the current to suddenly become zero so what it does it pushes the current into the capacitor it pushes more current into the capacitor and in this process the inductor gets discharged and the capacitor gets more charged as a result since the inductor pushes the current the current gradually drops gradually drops and when entire energy of the inductor is uh, sent to the capacitor the current becomes zero at that point the capacitor is very much charged with positive here and negative here so what it wants to do it wants to get discharged now what is the way to get discharged the way to get discharged is this path so it wants to the uh, current to flow in the opposite direction so if it wants the current to flow in the opposite direction what will happen at first the inductor will get charged then capacitor will get charged use with opposite polarity that is plus in the bottom and minus in the top as a result we will see a negative current and we will get a peak and we will again get a zero current it is to be noted that this peak is larger than this peak why is it that so there is resistance which acts as a damping which acts as a damper as a result the output uh, peak gradually decreases and now again this is positively charged and this is negatively charged as a result current again tries to flow in this direction and we will have an oscillatory behavior we have studied this oscillatory behavior in DC circuits in uh, in in our DC circuit course so we already know omega the e equation of frequency is 1 by lc minus r by 2l square so this is the frequency of this almost sinusoidal lo looking curve now what happens is when we get the first zero crossing this first zero crossing 
the current through the SCR becomes zero and as the result the SCR switches off. As a result the current through the SCR can never become negative so we do not actually see this portion. We do not see the entire oscillation we just we just see the this this positive half this first half of the circuit. When we see this first half of the circuit we can see that at zero crossing the SCR actually turns off that is we have commutated the SCR successfully. In case of load commutation, one thing we have to be very careful that while we design the circuit, we want this omega to be real, otherwise we will find no oscillation. That is, we want R by 2L squared to be smaller than 1 by LC. If our design does not follow this simple rule, we will not get oscillation and we will never be able to switch the SCR off and SCR will never be commuted. Okay, that's all for this lecture. We'll learn about the other methods of force commutation in our next lecture. Thank you.